we're, we are ready. And I am very excited to, to welcome you all to today's 10 Minute Monday. And it's gonna be how to keep your projects running smoothly. And I am delighted to introduce uh, our special guest. As you know, this is our first time we've had a special guest on 10 Minute Monday. And Julia is a project manager and she is a business coach, and she's also an author and a passion test facilitator. She has um, authored two books on project management as well, which are both available on Amazon. And I first met Julia in 2012 when we were in a coaching mastermind group together in Southern New Jersey. Julia taught me an awful lot about project management and also about keeping my products, uh, projects on track with not only, a, on, not only a task list, but a project charter. So I'm going to turn this over to Julia right now. I put together three templates and these are for... Um, this first one is what I'm calling the, the PM framework. It's a basic framework that the Project Management Institute, which is an organization that most project managers belong to, and they create the, the, um, the different types of um, ways of handling projects. And this, so this is a basic framework, and it's very helpful. It's very long but it's helpful um, because when you're using it, you only need to grab what you need. This is not a project plan. This is a framework of what goes in when you initiate a project and depending on the size of your project, you take what you need. And I'm gonna show a couple examples of that for you. So you have your initiation, your planning, executing, controlling, is a very um, important part of every project that you're managing and it happens throughout the life of your project and then how to close a project. So remember a definition of a project <clears throat> is it has a beginning and it has an end. <clears throat> this isn't something that goes on and on and on. You might have phases in a project, but as a project manager, we used to like goof that phase is never finished. So it's better to always have a phase as a project. When you're done with that, move on, set up another project. So I just wanted to show and explain to you what this framework is. And I didn't want you to panic that all of that goes into your projects because that's not the case. But this is something now to keep on hand just because I don't know your line of business and you may have multiple products, you may have you know, multiple offers within your business. This next slide is an example of a project plan. And this is if you have a product like Nancy does, where she does um, websites. There's a begin, you know, she has a client, <clears throat> she's building them a website. And then at the end, <clears throat> she ends the project. And you know, when the final payment comes in, so in this case, um, you have your project charter, which is always the most important piece that Nancy was talking about. Because within this project charter, and I will, if there's time, we'll show it to you. You have what you're going to do, what needs to be done, how you're going to manage the project, how you're going to um, deal with um, problems on, in the project, scope change in a project and payment. It's like, it's, it's a, it's a called a project charter, but it's basically part of a contract. Sometimes in smaller projects, it is the contract. In other projects, like when I used to work for Oracle, for instance, there was a huge um, contract, but the charter was attached and part of that contract. So again, that depends on, um, on the size of your projects. And from what I, little I know, I, I believe this is probably your contract. It's what you use, isn't it, Nancy, as your contract, your charter? Yes. Okay, so that's a very important piece. And within there, you're, within the charter, you're identifying st the stakeholders, required resources. This is all your discovery stage. This is where you're planning and you're planning to prepare everything to prepare your project plan. 
once you have that, you have a kickoff meeting, you have this either with your team if you have a team, you have your stakeholders, this would be your client, and you basically go through everything. Then you develop the project plan. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I'm doing a project plan is what's called a work breakdown structure. And I just get like a Word document and free form my plan instead of putting it into Excel and having to do all that editing in Excel to get your steps and your pieces of your project finalized in a Word document, then come to your Excel spreadsheet and put them in. I put in a lot of the project steps for you. So again, it's a template, you can use it, you can create your own, you can use it and take things out that don't pertain to you. And again, this one is a little um, more complex than the one I'm going to show you next because this one is for a product. And it takes you through delivery, how you close, a debrief, and again, governance, which is done throughout the life of a project. Now, for those of you like myself, um, I've worked for large companies and have had multiple and very complex projects that have gone on for a couple of years. I'm now a coach, so obviously, and I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, so I don't need that anymore. So what I did, just so, people didn't panic when you saw those very large framework and the very large project plan. This is all I use for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I get a client, I do the charter, I get their sign off, that's my contract. I, what I do, I'm, I'm a passion test for business, one-on-one -on -one coach. I work with business leaders and I work with solopreneurs and basically I work with them to get their, um, to rediscover their why. They're, they're people who have been in business and they just don't have the passion for what they're doing anymore. And so what I do is take them through a process that's called the Passion Test for Business. And it was um, created by um, Janet Atwood. And I take them through a, a pre-training consulting piece that I do then we work one on one. We identify their unique contribution to what their business unique contribution to the world is. And then the business owner I, um, then identifies the top priorities. We develop a strategy. It's a roadmap so that they have a, a plan. They have a plan to get to where their their um, their top priorities to get those done. And then I do follow up. So again, this is um, a quick, this is just a, a small example of one-on-one -on -one coaching. But this is all I need for when I do that. Well, we had talked very briefly about what types of products uh, out there would be the best one for managing a, a project, whether it be Asana or Trello or one of the many different project management softwares. And Julie goes, Hey, just use an Excel spreadsheet. And so that's why I thought this would be great to have Julia on because, you know, Julia is showing how you don't need to be, you know, unless you have a huge team and you have uh, that, do you need to do any more than an Excel spreadsheet when you're a solopreneur? It's a matter of just staying on top of your projects. Julia is very generously, she's sharing this Excel spreadsheet that it, she's show, showing us today, as well as a project charter slash contract, um, the one that she helped me develop and I've, and I've taken out all of the, uh, the, the personal information so that you can see that. You can email her at juliadonnelly at gmail.com and she is offering training. If anyone would like to learn how to fill in the project charter, she is taking people through that. And again, it's juliadonnelly at gmail.com. Thank you, Julia, for sharing your project management expertise with us today. If you would like to join us live on 10 Minute Monday, please go to my website, fieldsgraphicdesign.com, and enter your first name and email address. So you will receive an invitation every week 
that we give 10 Minute Monday Live. And you'll also receive my free download for how to find great free images and more. So once again, thank you for stopping by.